So, hey guys, Chelsea here. So this is going to be my showcase of 6 plus Sanji and Judge. I was lacking one dupe for level 150, but I did get that in part 1 of the Super Sugo Fest, so happy about that. And yeah, let's just quickly recap the unit. Captain ability, honestly pretty meh, won't be using this unit a lot as captain. The main thing is that, yeah, powerhouse fighter, you you get some bonuses if you run every color, but not required. Super small, pretty important, this is the main selling point of the unit. You can get a 2 turn 2.25 times attack boost for powerhouse and fighter, and the special makes it even better. You got some utility with removing paralysis and decreased shame, but the main thing is that you can get a 3 turn or boost for powerhouse and fighter, and if you have an attack boost you can extend it by 1 turn, so this Sunny Yaj is one of the few units in the game who can do a 3 turn attack and or boost, which is absolutely mental, and if every type is on the crew, even buff it further so we're going to try this out and this is will probably be the main reason i use this unit unless well it can always be special situations but three turn attack and or boost is insane and that's what we're going to try out here first we have a little fun team against arena luffy and here i want to try and make a good double sunday judge team and it's pretty good but of course we do want to make use of this Return attack and ore boost, and it does mean we need to do some stalling against Arena. Like in Treasure Map and Kisna and such, that won't be the case if they are boosted. And I think this Sunny Judge can be pretty good versus normal Kisna. Like you can set up to use them stage two. Like even if the enemy has like special buying some variation, you can just swap and ignore it, so that's pretty nice. And then you keep the attack and ignore boost for final stage, so if there's any interrupts you can just ignore that too. So I think that will be interesting. Could be cool for like trash map too, but 6 turn super swap is pretty sad since uh, you need to swap once, usually you get minus 5 super swap reduction and yeah, just something to keep in mind. Anyway, I've done the setup here. And this stage is RNG, you can get a Dex or a Psy enemy with different orbs. But I set it up so that Maha special will always give me at least one orb I need, so no RNG here. And you see we get 3 turn attack and orb boost here with buffs because we have every color on the crew. And if I tap with Sunny Judge now, I will also get extra damage for all other colors, which is a nice bonus. And yeah, usually Sora gives you a weak attack and ore boost here, which we block, since we already have attack and ore boost. I use Black Maria here for block ore money and to delay Sorrow. We even get a delay conditional, so that's nice damage that we don't really need. And yeah, I set up the next super swap with the Captain Sanji. And here's a nice case of the fact that they added damage to Sunny Yaj special. Uh, the support I have on Sunny Yaj here, which is a Kisuna Frankie, it only procs if you do damage, which we can do now with Sunny Yaj. We can remove the resilience here, very nice. And now we have an attack and ore boost again, and we can keep it to final stage again. So, yeah, I'd say this is as good as double Sunny and Judge Captain can get. Not going to be something you'll be seeing a lot, from me at least. But, like in general, I see Sunny Judge mostly as a sub. The benefits of them as captain are very low. But I'm still pretty happy with them as a unit. Like, there's many situations where I'd love to have a unit who can do, uh, like, three turns attack and ore boost, and just getting one more option is going to be really cool in some situations. We even get a Super Tandem here, not after you can use the Tobiropo Super Tandem combo, but yeah, managed to fit it on this team, and it makes it a very easy kill for this team. So yeah, that's a pretty clean Luffy team. Moving on, I also did a team with a bit of a hybrid, since it's hard to justify double Sanji Judge in a lot of situations. And yeah, here I want to do take on Arena Caesar since final stage for Arena Caesar 
you have to kill him over three turns unless you use some real shenanigans with poison burn and such. So yeah, we're doing Sanji Yaj final stage. This will let us give an attack and war boost for three turns, so we don't need to worry about damage. And yeah, the rest of this is just about facilitating the team. I think we even managed to fit every color here, which is pretty cool. As said, not required, but it does give some neat small bonuses. And I also just think it's fun in general to build with all colors, so yeah. The fun thing is that this Frankie we're using is the one we used though as support on the last team, so he's back again. He's pretty good for uh, final turn on the final stage. And yeah, remove the debuffs with support. I use Big Mom here and I feel like I could have built this team a bit better. My plan was really to try and keep as many Sam Lords as possible for final stage. But I forgot a few things, like I knew I wouldn't be able to keep two Sand Orbs to next stage, that's fine. But yeah, then I put the Tama support on Big Mom because we get bind, I wanted to get the orbs locked. Then I forgot that Brownbeard here does the Great Lock at the top and that kind of blocks some orb locking stuff. I don't really know how that works exactly, but yeah, I couldn't lock the orbs I wanted, so I end up not having a lot of similar orbs left, but the team worked, so yeah, I was like, okay, why not? The main thing I wanted to showcase anyway was the three turn attack and the orb boost final stage. And as you see, Sanji Judge is ready. Uh, I'm not talking about Smoothie yet either. I figured I'd use her final stage together with Sanji Judge because then we set up the three turn attack and orb boost with Sanji Judge, three turn shame boundary with the uh, Smoothie, and we also block that sh bad chain lock we get turn two. And yeah, we also have paralysis here, which Shanti and Judge removes. So, all in all, pretty good use for them. Pretty happy with that. Matt got to use their utility a bit as, as well. So yeah, we're set up for the rest of the run here with damage, so the only concern now is to get matching orbs and remove debuffs. And yeah, we still do well enough damage here with just two Sam orbs, and I can tap the poison orbs to remove them. Usually don't want to do that since you get burn and such, but I actually have the trash map Akainu here, and he will remove the spear next turn, and also the burn, so... Not often you can fit a burn remover here. And yeah, usually we get a bad chain lock here, but uh, Smoothie blocked that. Even a burn condition for some unnecessary extra damage, but sure, why not? And yeah, optimally I try and keep a uh, Samuel Orb on Jack or Frankie, but eh, it's worked out, so it's fine. But yeah, we use Frankie here, remove the death up, we remove the resilience, and after that we just need to do the tiny bit of damage that is left. And yeah, that's my Sanji and Judge showcase. I hope you enjoyed. See ya. Thanks for watching guys. See you next time.